Getting to know Option XL41 R454B. That's the topic today for this episode of Refrigerant Checkup with Dr. Chuck. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you follow the news in the air conditioning industry, you're probably well aware that 410A is going away in the next couple of years. So I want to spend a few minutes of the day uh, helping you just become familiar with the leading replacement R454B, uh, what it is, uh, what its properties are, and uh, how it's going to be used uh, in an industry. There's going to be a lot more information coming out here, but just wanted to start with the basics. Uh, 454B, the ASHRAE designation uh, for an HFO-HFC blend. So it's a blend of uh, HFO-1234YF and R32. It uh, has been selected by the leading OEMs as the replacement for 410A for a lot of their uh, ducted split AC systems, um, some other systems, uh, news announcements around the adoption of 454B have been coming out for several years. And that equipment is going to be rolling out into the uh, marketplace, into the field near, near you uh, in the very near future, so certainly in, in the coming year or two. Uh, we're going to start seeing the initial uh, rollout of that wave of uh, refrigerant uh, in new air conditioning systems. So again, uh, the reason for the change away from uh, 410A is uh, to go to lower GWP fluid. So the GWP of 454B is 466. That's about an 80% reduction compared to 410A. So certainly that is what's required to meet some of the new regulations under the AIM Act, some of the other uh, regulations coming in. Um, as far as chemi chemistry-wise, uh, we still expect it to be basically a POE lubricant uh, compatible refrigerant. So, uh, so no changes really from lubricant uh, recommendations or practices that you're used to with a 410A. Um, 454B does have a slight temperature glide, uh, about 3 degrees uh, F, so a little bit more than 410A, but uh, still uh, very manageable. Just need to remember those basic practices of working with blends. Take liquid out of the jug when you're charging, use the dew point when you're setting superheat, etc. It'll be fine to top off if the systems get a small leak. Uh, Performance-wise, you can just top that off, no need to pull out the entire charge. Uh, based on um, performance or any changes uh, due to the glide when it leaks. Um, the liquid density is a, is a little bit different. Uh, it turns out you'll probably use about 10% less of a charge in an equivalent size system. So uh, that's a benefit. And again, um, it will be an A2L refrigerant, it is an A2L refrigerant. And uh, so there's going to be uh, safety, handling, training practices that we're all going to need to get familiar with uh, as we switch over from a traditional A1 to an A2L. I've done a, a few other videos on A2Ls, their properties in general, uh, and we'll be doing a lot more training on the tools, the service practices, the handling, uh, codes and standards. A lot of the installation of these systems uh, will be governed by guidelines that will come from the OEMs. Some of the safety mitigation will be part of the OEM equipment. You'll get that as the equipment comes out. So uh, if I don't leave you with any other message, it's prepared to be intaking a lot of information on A2Ls. Uh, none of it's particularly difficult. We will get through this as we've gotten through other transitions out of CFCs, from pure components to using blends, to things that were slightly different pressures, i.e. going from 22 to 410 was a pressure change. All these changes in technology uh, as an industry, uh, we, we handle them pretty well. Uh, there's a little nervousness, a little bit of a learning curve, but there is a lot of training, a lot of dedicated resources coming from uh, us at Comores and, and the Optium refrigerant team as a lot of the educational resources and the industry associations in the industry to deal with the A2Ls. Um, so that's basically the properties uh, that are important. Uh, Performance-wise, it's going to operate at very similar pressures to 410. Uh, and the performance is going to be very, very uh, equivalent. You're going to get increased or better capacity uh, at the same pressures with increased uh, or equivalent uh, energy efficiency. So this product is well aligned to meet all the goals, the energy standard goals, the environmental regulations uh, of our industry going forward. So we'll be communicating a lot more on uh, 454B 
It's going to be an exciting time uh, as our industry transitions to this. Uh, I look forward to speaking with you. I know I've spoken with you, many of you already, but if you have any questions, any need of training around A2Ls, any questions at all, I will put the number down here at the bottom. Please reach out to us. We have a, a great staff of trainers, engineers, uh, and technicians ready to answer any of your questions. It's not too early to get on board and become familiar with this product because it's going to be a workhorse uh, for a long time. Thanks for uh, tuning in to the uh, refrigerant checkup. Again, as always, any questions, any topics you want me to cover, give me a shout. Uh, I get myself or one of my teammates. Uh, we'll be glad to help you out. Stay safe. Uh, have a great day.